Hi guys, today we will be learning about columns in Microsoft Word. I've already given you a tutorial on columns in Microsoft Word, but today we'll be looking at how you can have two independent columns in Microsoft Word. So first of all, here I have a document with a couple of headings, News 1 and News 2, with some text in it. To convert this document into columns, I will be clicking on the Layout tab. Then under the Layout tab, under Column, I will pick 2. So as you notice here, the entire document got split into two columns. Now I want News 1 to be at the beginning of the first column and News 2 to be at the beginning of the second column. So to push News 2 to the second column before the first column ends, I will place my insertion point before the letter N on News 2. Then in the Layout tab under the Breaks, I will click on Column Break. Which, what does that mean? That means break the column before it reaches its end. So when I click on it, you can see that News 2 automatically gets pushed to the beginning of the next column. Let me show you on the Home tab with the help of the symbols here, which is our Show Height symbol. If you click on it, it will tell you the reason of this extra spaces because a column break was applied. Hope this brief tutorial would have helped you understand how you can create two columns and start the next column before you reach the end of the first column. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.